So here we are in the main play screen of Jam Pro. It might look a bit scary, but always remember you've got in-app help on every screen and function toggled from the ninja head in the top right hand corner and you can operate the app whilst the help is on. Press the play button to start. The reason the record button's on is so we can record the audio properly for this demo. And we're going to use this pack, You Are Golden. And if you look down at the bottom, you can select between all the different screens. If you press this button on the far right, you go to a selection of single screen basic functions. Tap matrix, this is the loop matrix, which is kind of the heart of jam and a good place to start. You've got four channels, beats, bass, synth and gold in this pack. And each of them has a channel mute button to turn it on and off. Each channel has got eight clips. Let's strip it down to the beats, turn the other channels off. And reading across, you can see there's eight different clips of beats. In a channel, one clip plays at a time. And you can chop any time from one clip to the next. It'll always be in time. You use your ears and your sense of rhythm to decide where to make the cuts. That's called J-Sync, by the way, exclusive to Jam. Bring in the other channels. Generally, the sets in Jam are worked out so that all the clips can work with each other. So you can just move your fingers around, draw around on the loop matrix, and have a lot of fun finding the combinations that you like. We've done our best to pack out these sets with lots of samples of different styles so you can really generate a lot of different directions. At the top, these are called patches. What they do is they store and recall the state of the app. So for example, here we've got a nice combination of clips that we like. Long hold on a patch. Call this one demo, press enter, and that stores that state, saves the whole state of where you're at. If we change to another combination of clips, we'll say store this as well, call this fun. And now we've created two patches. In fact, the whole state of the app with all the effects and so on, which we'll see later, that is also stored as part of this state, stored in these patches tap on the patch, the one we created called Demo, that recalls that state, that combination of clips. Let's go back to Fun. You'll notice we tap on it, and then it waits to the beginning of the next bar, and then recalls it. And you can have up to 64 of these patches. Access the others by swiping left and right at the top. All the sets we provide come with patches with decent combinations of clips and effects. Okay, what else can we do? Let's strip it down to the beats again. Here we're going to have fun with a little function called Drilter. And this features Jam Pro's tip control, which means using the tip of your finger to have a lot of expressive control over the effects in the app. Up and down loops a small part of the clip. At the bottom it's a couple of beats. As you move up it's a smaller and smaller beat until you get to that kind of buzzing effect at the top. And then left and right is changing the filter, low cut to high cut. You can see in the top left that there's a mini XY readout of what you're doing. Those are called mini XYs and we use them for other types of tip control in the app. So you can have uh, a lot of fun just with the tip of your finger. In fact, any clip on the matrix got an individual drilter, so you can have up to, well, as many fingers as you got really, funking around multiple touches at the same time. Now at the left here, these blue lines are called Smart Pitch Bend. And what this does is shifts the pitch of the clip that's playing up or down. But what it does is it does it in a musically correct scale so that you're more likely to hit on interesting musical combinations that work with the other melodic elements in the track. When you release it, it sets back to zero. You hear the sound is affected by these pitch bends. You can optimize that by going to the clip page and setting a different time stretch mode. We'll come back to that in another video. Now we're back in the main play screen and by holding shift down and pressing pause, you can trigger a deck stop effect, which is quite a nice way to end a session. By the way, when you want to quit or save your work, hold down this button and you get the file menu, then select close or save and close if you want to save any changes you've made to the pack, like making patches or loading new samples, we'll do save and close. And let's do copy and save to so make a new version of the pack. 
we'll call that UR Golden X. Pack copies and saves, and then you return to the store, and we can see there the copy of the set that we've made. In the next video, we'll explore more functions of Jam. This is Matt Black from Cold Cut. Thanks for your attention.